Today I'm going to show you the difference between saturated and unsaturated hydrocarbons. So a hydrocarbon is a molecule or a compound that is made up of only exactly what it sounds like, hydrogens and carbons. In our molecule here, the carbons are our black spheres and the hydrogens are our white ones. If a hydrocarbon is considered to be saturated, it means that it only contains single bonds which means that it actually is housing as many hydrogen atoms as it possibly can. Okay, so for this particular one here, we have pentane. It's pentane because it contains five carbon atoms and the rest, every available bond is taken by a hydrogen atom, making it saturated. And if you're so looking at this, this molecule, remember that carbon itself, Carbon is in group number 14 on our periodic table. It has four available bonds that it can make. Now in a molecule like this, in a hydrocarbon, it can bond to one of two things. It can bond to another carbon atom or it can bond to a hydrogen atom. Okay, and so here in pentane, all single bonds, it is containing as many hydrogens as it possibly can and still being pentane, still having the five carbons. The other type of molecule that is considered to be saturated is a cycloalkane. So here we have cyclopentane. It's called cyclo because the carbons are all connected into a circle and it's pentane because again, we've got five carbon atoms here. This is still considered to be a saturated hydrocarbon because it contains the maximum number of hydrogens that are possible without breaking any of the carbon carbon bonds. So what does it mean if something is unsaturated? This is where we start to look at our alkenes and our alkynes, and I'll show you why. All right, so here we now have an alkene. We know it's an alkene because it has a double bond here. Okay, so this molecule looks very similar to the last one. It still has five carbon atoms. So it still has the prefix of pent, but it's pentene because of the double bond here. And if we want to do our correct naming, it's actually pent two ene because the double bond is situated from the second and the third between the second and third carbons in the chain. Okay, so why is it considered to be unsaturated? It's because of this double bond. This double bond means that actually this molecule does not contain all of the hydrogens it could have if that double bond was broken. Now, the reactivity of this molecule is higher than an alkane, and so that double bond could technically break to react with hydrogen to make it back into pentane. So these bonds here, could have the ability to break and allow for hydrogens to be attached here again. But that is why it's considered to be unsaturated because of the presence of that double bond. The other type of molecule that's considered to be unsaturated is an alkyne. An alkyne is one that contains a triple bond. So here between carbons two and three, we have one, two, three bonds, a triple bond. It is still has the prefix of pent because it still contains those five carbon atoms. But again, it is considered to be unsaturated because these triple bonds are actually taking up places that hydrogen could have. Okay, and so it's not a saturated molecule, it's considered to be unsaturated. And those that triple bond, those bonds here could break and allow for this molecule to react with something else. Could be hydrogen, it could react with other compounds. And again, if we had a cycloalkene or alkyne where we contained a double bond in between two of the carbons, like this, then that would be considered to be unsaturated now. So it's still a cyclo um, hydrocarbon. It's, this one is a cyclopentene 
and we would say because it's in a circle we would give the double bond the lowest number so this would be cyclopent one ene but it is considered to be unsaturated because of that the presence of that double bond so a quick summary is that a saturated hydrocarbon is one that only contains single bonds and therefore is attached to as many hydrogens as possible and our alkenes and alkynes that contain a double or a triple bond here means that it's unsaturated.